just depends. Like if the girl's on top and it slip out, then that's her fault because maybe she's not riding right. So she gonna have to put it back in. But like if the guy on top and it come out, like what? Like you gotta do that because why did it come out in the first place? Yeah, it just depends. <laughs> Who came up with this shit? God damn. It's a good question. <laughs> Damn, I mean, who us? Do it depend on me? Damn. I guess mine. Shit. I mean, whoever got the best view. I mean, who I mean. I don't know. That's tough there. Whose job is it to put the back in? Uh, it depends. Um, <laughs> it depends. I mean, what uh, was it a speed we was going? Like, I don't know. Like, somebody need to reach for it. It'd probably be me. <laughs> it's always me. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Shit. Probably me. Niggas don't be doing it. I don't know. It's his, definitely, hands down. Cause it's not my fault he can't handle it. Like, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. That's not my embarrassment, that's yours. <laughs> Whose job is it to put the back in when it slips out during sex? Uh, if my meat slip out during sex, I'm gonna tell you right now, we better be in a, in a race to put that meat back in together. You know what I'm saying? Like, we better, we better bump hands to put that meat back in. Cause, if something that good, when it slip out, when your coochie ain't got it no more, when it slip out, you're going to know it's gone. So I want both of us to do a 30-yard dash to put that meat back in. You hear me, girl? A 30-yard dash. So it's, it's, it's a group effort. Mm -hmm. What's the best advice your mom ever gave you? One time, I walked outside, and she was sitting on the porch, and I was like, Mom, I like girls. And she was like, I don't give a fuck if you like pussy. As long as you happy. And I got that shit on camera, I put it on Twitter, everything. Like, everybody loved it. I was only in like eighth grade. <laughs> Stop running your mouth all the goddamn time. No, I mean, you know how your mama say you got that. No matter like a title to tell, stop running your goddamn mouth. Tell you in the child's place. That's the best advice my mama ever gave me. Tell in the child's place. You bitch ain't do shit else. So. <laughs> What's the best advice your mom ever gave you? <laughs> you better watch out for that bitch. She like You always trying to say something on camera, stop by bit your ass. <laughs> but yeah, she said watch out for the people. She was right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, the best advice, well, how about, it's kind of advice, but it's kind of not. It's kind of like the way she cleans, so it's her cleaning advice. She always washes shit out in the tub. You know what I mean? Like, it don't matter what it is, it's always in the tub, though. So it's getting washed, like. <laughs> What's the best advice your mom ever gave you? Oh, man. Stop wearing people clothes. Because, like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I used to always wear my homeboy Butts clothes, man, when I was coming up, man. And I think Butts had roaches and lice, man. You know what I'm saying? He was, <laughs> you, you couldn't trust that motherfucker. And he used to stink, man. So my mom was right about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Can you marry someone who loves and cares for you, but is jobless? No. Fuck no. No. I work two jobs. I go to school. What is you doing? What are you doing for me? <laughs> nah, I do for me too, but what are you doing for yourself, for real, for real? Because without me, you're not making no money. You're going to have to find another bitch <laughs> to provide for you again. Nah, you got to work. I work. Hell no. Nah. Ain't no more arguments waiting to happen. Bitch ain't got nothing else to do but sit around. There's a lot of you bitches out here right now. Shit, just ain't got shit to do, sit around on social media and goddamn investigate shit. Take your ass to work. Hell nah, you gotta go to work, baby. This ain't the 60s. 50, 50, 60, 40. Can you get married to someone who loves and cares for you, but it's 
Hell no. <laughs> Jobless? What the fuck we getting married for? Who paying for the wedding? <laughs> you thought I was? <laughs> no, jobless, that's not gonna work. You need a job. <laughs> you need a job before we get married. All right, and when did you get jobless? Because <laughs> how were you been engaged? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah, nah. Hell no. No, I can't. Because, like, <laughs> I don't want to be the only one, like, because everything will be in my name, and I would hate to have to embarrass him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would hate for him to have to need my car. You know what I mean? <laughs> Even though we married, it's not. That's my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get married to someone who loves and cares for you, but is jobless? Nah, baby. Uh uh. Love don't pay the bills, baby. Uh uh. I need, I need, I need that that, that money, man. Hell no. Nah. You gotta have a job, sweetheart. That's that's just that's that's the going thing for the for, for the for the 2019, 2020 year, baby. You gotta be gotta have a job, man. I can't take care of no grown ass woman. Hell no, nah, man. You gotta have a job. You can't just do hair, do hair, do nails, and, and and go to the club every day. You know what I'm saying? No. Nah. Mm mm. You got you got to bring in that real money, baby. Uh, I like my ears messed with. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't want you to stick my finger in my ear, but like this part right here, I just like my ears messed with. Is that like non-sexual? No. That's sexual? <laughs> that's that's, that's a body. Is it like, like being called baby all the time? Like that's gross to me. Like, like oh baby girl, baby. Like, I don't want to be called that all the time. Like call me an asshole sometimes. <laughs> Cause I'm really an asshole, so like, like I don't want to be called baby all the time. Like, oh, it's okay, sweetheart. No, no, I just was mean to you. <laughs> like, nah. Um, just somebody being about their business, you know. Just the hustle just turns me on. They hustle, you know. Yeah, that's a turn on. Name something non-sexual that turns you on. Spend some money on me. <laughs> Spend a grip on me, baby. We go to Wendy's, we get that four for four. You tell me I ain't got to pay? Oh, man. I done got hard as a rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go. Yeah. Name something non-sexual that turned you on. So, like, if I say I need something, and then, like, all of a sudden I got it. Like, you're like, oh, I'm going to town. You want to come with me? I'll pay for your shit. Like, that's what turns me on the most, because, like, you taking care of me. Like, if I don't got to use my own money, that'll be the day <laughs> that somebody turns me on. <laughs> like, 